Imagine a world where the battlefield is filled with chaos, uncertainty, and danger at every turn. What if there was a vehicle designed to not only survive this madness, but to thrive in it? A vehicle that could cross rivers, navigate rough terrain, and protect its crew from enemy fire, all while transporting soldiers to the heart of battle. Meet the Patria Pazzi XA, a remarkable armored personnel carrier, APC, that has proven itself in some of the most dangerous environments on Earth. But what makes this vehicle so special? Stay tuned as we dive deep into its fascinating story and discover how it became a game changer for militaries worldwide. Trust us, you don't want to miss this. The Patria Pazzi XA is no ordinary armored vehicle. It's a product of Finnish engineering, designed to meet the demanding needs of the Finnish army. The story of the Pazzi XA begins back in the early 1980s, when Finland needed a modern armored personnel carrier to replace its aging fleet. The new vehicle had to be tough, fast, and capable of navigating both land and water. The Finnish engineers at Sisu Auto were up for the challenge. The vehicle that emerged from this challenge was the Sisu Pazi, later renamed the Patria Pazi XA. Its design was a game-changer in the world of military vehicles. It featured a 6x6 wheel configuration, meaning six wheels instead of the usual tracks found on traditional tanks. This simple change made a huge difference in terms of mobility. While tracked vehicles could be sluggish and prone to breakdowns, the Pazi XA's six wheels allowed it to cover more ground quickly and efficiently, making it perfect for cross-country travel. But speed wasn't the only thing that set the Pazi XA apart. Its design also prioritized protection for the crew and passengers. The vehicle's armored hull was designed to withstand small arms fire and shell splinters. And with bulletproof windscreens and hinged armor panels, the crew inside was shielded from the most common threats on the battlefield. Imagine being inside the Pazi XA, knowing that you're safe behind a thick protective layer of armor while your vehicle moves swiftly across dangerous terrain. That's the kind of peace of mind it provided. The front of the vehicle was built with the driver and commander in mind. Positioned at the very front, the driving compartment gave them excellent visibility, allowing them to navigate through obstacles with ease. The side doors were hinged like a regular car, providing easy access and quick exits if needed. But here's where it gets really interesting. The sides of the vehicle were equipped with vision blocks that allowed the passengers inside to see out, even when the vehicle was moving at high speed. And if they needed to defend themselves, there were gun ports strategically placed so the soldiers could engage enemies without ever stepping outside. One of the standout features of the Pazi XA was its amphibious capability. This vehicle wasn't just made for land, it was made to cross rivers, lakes and streams as well. At the back of the hull, two water jets provided the propulsion needed to move the vehicle through water. So whether the mission took the Pazi XA over rugged mountains or across a fast-flowing river, it could handle it. In an era when many vehicles struggled to cross water, the Pazi XA could do both with ease. Imagine a battlefield with rivers cutting through it, and the Pazi XA effortlessly gliding across the water, ready to deploy its troops on the other side. The vehicle's original design was known as the XA-180, and it was unveiled in 1980. It was an instant hit with the Finnish army after extensive testing. They needed a vehicle that could keep up with the fast-moving pace of modern warfare, and the XA-180 delivered. Its performance was so impressive that by 1983, Finland had placed an order for 50 of these vehicles. And thus, the Pazi XA was born. But as is the case with most military vehicles, there was always room for improvement. The next version, the XA-185, brought upgrades such as a new transmission and engine installation. These improvements made the vehicle more reliable and efficient. However, the real evolution came with the XA-186, which added more armor and a machine gun turret. But this extra weight came at a cost. The vehicle lost its amphibious capability, making it more suitable for land-based operations. Despite this, the Pazi XA remained a formidable force, offering unparalleled protection and firepower. By the time the XA-200 version rolled out, the vehicle had seen several changes, particularly in the armor protection and situational awareness systems. The addition of night vision equipment allowed the Pazi XA to operate effectively in low-light conditions, an essential feature for modern warfare. However, much like the XA-186, the XA-200 lost its amphibious capability. It was clear that the more advanced versions of the Pazi XA were better suited for land operations, leaving amphibious assaults to other specialized vehicles. Yet, the Pazi XA's success wasn't limited to just the Finnish army. The vehicle quickly attracted attention from other nations. Austria, Denmark, Estonia, 
Ireland, and many others saw the potential of the Pazi XA and made it a part of their own military fleets. Even the United Nations adopted the vehicle for peacekeeping missions. Its ability to provide protection, mobility, and versatility made it a perfect fit for the diverse environments and threats faced by peacekeepers around the world. So, how fast could the Pazi XA go? Depending on the engine type, the XA-180 models were powered by a 236-horsepower diesel engine, while the later XA-200 models featured a 271-horsepower turbocharged engine. These engines allowed the Pazi XA to reach a top speed of 100 km per hour on the road. That may not seem fast, but considering its size and weight, it was impressive. On rough terrain or in combat zones, this speed could mean the difference between getting caught in an ambush or escaping to safety. The Pazi XA wasn't just fast and well-armored, it was also incredibly maneuverable. It featured a six-wheel drive system that allowed it to navigate through all kinds of difficult terrains. Whether it was mud, snow, or rocky paths, the Pazi XA could handle it. This made it a vital asset for missions in areas where other vehicles would struggle. It was a true all-terrain vehicle, ready for any challenge. Over the years, the Patria Pazi XA has been used in some of the most dangerous and demanding environments on Earth. It has served in the war-torn regions of Afghanistan, Iraq, and the Balkans, where its durability and protection were put to the test. It also became a key player in UN peacekeeping operations, where its ability to navigate difficult terrains and provide safety to troops made it invaluable. In fact, the Pazi XA's mine resistance and ability to protect its occupants from small arms fire made it a top choice for peacekeepers operating in unstable regions. Now, imagine being a soldier in one of those areas. You're facing the uncertainty of combat, and you're unsure of what's ahead. But then you climb into the Pazi XA. As you buckle in, you know that you're safe behind its thick armor and powerful engines. You can cross rivers, drive through rough terrain, and engage the enemy from the safety of your vehicle. You're not just carrying out a mission, you're doing so with the confidence that comes from knowing your vehicle will protect you at every turn. As we wrap up the story of the Patria Pazi XA, it's clear that this vehicle is more than just a piece of military equipment. It's a symbol of innovation and versatility, and a testament to Finnish engineering. From its ability to cross water to its powerful armor, it has proven itself time and again on battlefields around the world. Whether in peacekeeping missions or combat zones, the Pazi XA has always been there, providing safety, mobility, and reliability to the troops who depend on it. If you found this story fascinating and want to learn more about military vehicles, technology, and engineering marvels like the Patria Pazi XA, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have plenty of exciting content coming your way that you won't want to miss. Like this video if you enjoyed learning about the Pazi XA, and leave a comment below telling us which military vehicle you'd like to learn about next. Stay tuned for more incredible stories from the world of military innovation.